Okay, so this is where we're walking towards. It's the first time that I actually did a vlog, so. Yeah, look around. Actually, there's an, once I get closer, there's actually a really great uh, view. I hope I get to see it of the mountains with the snow on the tips and everything overlooking with the ocean. Be fun. See some water. I mean, almost every time I come here, the tide is always out. I just hope that it's in this side. <laughs> okay, so I'll just show you a little bit of that for now, and then when we get there, I'll take more. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of the glimpse. I mean, I haven't been here. I've been more to the other side, so. Yeah. It's a bird sanctuary where all the birds come to migrate, to, uh, not now, but um, when they do. I don't know exactly what time of year it is, but yeah. Oh wow, I've never been here before, but... So, yeah. so there's a lot of little paths and stuff that you can walk along. I mean, they say in certain areas that you can't have dogs because of, you know, the wildlife. You know, not for the birds and stuff so they don't run and chase them over. So yeah, we'll just check this out. This sign coming on. There we go. Uh, focus. There we go. Show you a little bit of what type of birds come here. Sorry about the flash, I mean, really, I didn't put it on, but it automatically does it, so, yeah. Okay, so we'll take a little bit more of a walk. I mean, I was so hoping that the tide would be in. I mean, every time I come in the summertime, the tide is always out. I mean, now that it's chilly and cold, the tide is in. I mean, seriously, I mean, I went a few times when the tide was, sorry, sorry about that, when the tide was in, but... There's where all the birds and stuff. Also, they come over here by the water as well. I don't know if you could see them. A lot of ducks in the water. There they go, flying. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cold though. The breeze is cold. I hope it's not too dark, but flash is up there. I'm gonna stop a little bit for now just to save some battery life. I so love the view with the houses all lit up by the water. I mean, it's so nice. And they're done. I don't know if you can see way in the back over there. There's two uh, ski mountains. I don't know which ones they are, but yeah. There's all the ducks in the water. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of them. I was actually planning on going on to the other side where you can see more of the water and there's parks and, and it was a great place but I mean they closed at 5, they locked the door so this was the only spot that I could actually come in to actually give a little vlog for the first time. Hope you guys enjoyed.
just love the sound of water. It's just relaxing, amazing. I hope it's not too dark. Welcome back, my little foodies. Today we're doing a car mukbang for the first time. It's actually the lighting is a little bit bad. I mean, sorry about that, but um, you know, it's, I'm trying to do the best that I can. Okay, so today we bought Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Also, I'm gonna have a little vlog in the background, like of the water and stuff. It's actually really nice. It's cold out there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get this started, okay? So what I bought was, I got some french fries mm. and also I bought Check this out. crispy chicken sandwich I mean I always used to call it a burger all the time but I mean I just read it and it was like it's a, it's a sandwich I mean okay I guess I was wrong I mean it's you know anyways it is what it is right Okay, so let's open this up. Also, I bought the combo, which the whole total came up to about... Mm, let's see what it came up to. 1091. I don't know if you can see that, but 1091. You know what I mean? For the trio. Um, I didn't take the drink because it's a little bit cold outside. Sorry that it's so... Uh, oh, maybe you can get it that way. Dark, but... Okay. So, here we go. Put that on the side. Check that out. It might be a little bit on the colder side because I just went for a walk and it was in the car. So, you know, I want to do a vlog video for you guys. So, bon appetit. Oops. <laughs> mm. mm. I have to do my thumbnail. Mm. Mm. It's actually really crispy, which is good. Here's my fries. I do got some, I got some ketchup. Mm. So I'll just put that on the side. I mean, the interesting, it was funny, but I mean, I'm wearing a winter jacket and it's my nose is a little bit on the running side. I mean, there was a kid driving around on a bike in shorts. I mean, seriously, in shorts? I mean, I guess I'm just getting old. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, I'm just gonna put that all on top there. Mm. I always like sucking out the, the packaged leftover ketchup. Mm. Mm. Um, I was going to the other side because it has a better view of the mountain and with the snow on the top and the ocean and stuff, but uh, I didn't know that it was locked at five o'clock. Huh. Well, now I know. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. I am. I was sort of not gonna do this mukbang, this car mukbang, because I was like so exhausted. I'm still so exhausted from work. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, this job like drains me. I mean, my legs, my arms, and everything. I sleep for. I mean, night jobs aren't always the best. Okay, what? Well, Mark down in the comments below what was your worst job ever. So far? Well, what was your worst job so far? Sorry. That'd be nice to hear. I mean... Pays the bills, right? I guess. I'm, I was in healthcare for about... 
nine years. Loved that job. Loved it. I just didn't love the owners or the manager because they were big, like, I mean, right at you all the time and stuff. But I loved taking care of the residents. I loved looking after people. I loved helping people when they need help, right? When they can't do it for themselves. I just love that whole part of it. I mean, when we moved from the Nanaimo to here, um, I said, you know what I mean? I'll start a chain, you know, a little change, which is good. You know, so I went to Walmart, right? Sorry, big mistake. At the beginning, it was fun, sore for the first three weeks. I mean, because I work nice and I'm stocking the shelves and everything, so I mean, it is what it is, right? But yeah. But um, someone, I applied for another healthcare job and I have to go and see them soon, so that should be interesting. I mean, I really, really enjoy helping people. I mean, seriously. I mean, the sad thing is that I help my roommate so much. I mean, I try to push him so much back to my roommate. But in helping someone and someone that doesn't care, I mean, seriously. I mean, when we're in the Nanaimo, he was sitting, not working for nine months. Not working for the first year. Well, nine months out of the first year. What? Wasn't looking, wasn't doing anything, eating up all his money from the, the health cell from Montreal. I mean, seriously. And the only way that he actually found a job is because I was looking for a job because I wanted a job, right? And I found a job in healthcare, which was good. Because my, um, I'm originally from Montreal, of course, and um, my, it's strange though, but my diploma from Montreal isn't accepted here. Hmm. Strange, but yeah. It is, it is. I was working for like maybe, working on it for like almost a year trying to get registered here in BC. Oh. Such a pain. Beautiful. Love it here. I just don't love that. Yeah. Okay, so back to the story about my roommate. I mean, my roommate sits at home right now. I mean, at, in Nanaimo, he was there for nine months, didn't do anything. He finally found it, well, didn't find a job because I found it for him. I mean, worked literally six months night shifts, basically, by the time we moved. Like, he worked a year and three months, but, I mean, part-time at the beginning, and because he didn't want to work hard, but it is what it is. So, then we moved to um, the mainland, right? So, I found a job. Yeah, I'm working at Walmart. It's not the best job. I mean, I could find something better but it pays the bills I'm not dipping into my savings or nothing I'm paying my bills right and then, sorry about that and I'm putting my money like I'm waiting for my three months and then I'm gonna go to the bank and see what I can get right and then I really want to open a pub so that's my main goal right now opening a pub it should be fun I mean <laughs> Um, I'm like a mother hen or mother something. I mean, people always say it. I mean, like it's sort of between me, me and my husband. We're getting into arguments and fights. It's because I'm trying to help my roommate so much and he doesn't care. But yet, I feel bad because I mean. He's reaching that age where he's 57. Um, and, you know, he's not working for another, it's going on six months now. I mean, he's not even looking. I mean, he's gained weight. Yeah, I know he had an operation and everything like that. But, I mean, he's not taking care of his health. He's not taking care of himself. And that's all I hear is bitching this about, okay, so, oh, I don't have a job. Oh, excuse me. I don't have a job. I, uh, I'm running out of money and blah, 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 and so on and so forth, right? And I'm like, so get up, work out. I mean, go find a job, get anything. Oh, but my body's not made for this. Oh, my body's not made for that. I'm like, and then I repeat myself for, for five months I've been doing this. Work out, work out, eat healthier, work out, find a job, work out. And just bitching, bitching, bitching. Every single day, bitching about not having a job, bitching about gaining weight, bitching about, oh, there's no gay people in this, you know what I mean? 
that he hasn't meet, met anyone. I'm like, go to Vancouver. I mean, seriously. Well, I don't like myself. Well, work out. I mean, hello. I don't have money. Well, find a job. You know what I mean? It just gets me. But, I mean, I do it over and over and over and over again. Repeating and repeating. What does he say to me? Oh, you're just repeating yourself. I don't want to hear anymore. Oh, my God, you're repeating, you're repeating, you're repeating. And it just f puts gas to the fire, right? Because I'm like, you don't understand, like, someone like me. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not Mr. Perfect. But someone that's willing to try over and over and over and over again to help someone. I'm still doing it now. I mean, it's just, I just can't help myself, I guess. Is it like an addiction? I don't know. I mean, I guess it is a good addiction if you're trying to help someone, right? But it's a dead end. So I'm trying to kick back a little bit. In helping them anymore. Because, I mean, we're leaving from this house in... Okay, so... February to March, March to April, April to May, May to June. In four months. He doesn't have a job. So he doesn't have any reference, like, stating that he has a job. So it's going to be hard for him to find... To rent something, right? Because, I mean, they want to know if you have a job. Hello. And then he hasn't decided if he's going to Montreal or if he's staying here or what he's doing. I mean, that's the easiest thing. Make the decision if where you're going to stay. I mean, that's the most important. It's the easiest one because then you can revolve everything around. Okay, so if I go into Montreal, then I'll sell my car. You know what I mean? But if I'm staying here, then I'll keep my car, get new tires because it needs new tires and things like that. You know what I mean? Everything revolved around if you're staying here or you're leaving. That's the easiest part. I think it's just because I've been doing it for the last um, new cabal, one, two, three, three moves so far. I mean, seriously. I mean, let me know what you think. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I mean, the beginning of the, um, well, it was November 27th that we got married, so, but, I mean, so happy, got married, happy in that way, happy that I'm actually really looking forward to moving, why, because, I mean, Vancouver is an amazing place. There's so much to see, so much to do. I can't wait to vlog, do videos on the SkyTrain and this and go to so many places. I mean, I'm so looking forward to that. This is just dripping all over the place. I mean, I don't know how people do this. <laughs> I guess I'll have to put a tray down or something. I don't know. But, um, I hope everything's going well with these guys. You know what I mean? And girls. Um, Hmm. Oh, I'm going to add a little video right here about a waterfall. Well, right in this area. So I'll put it right here where I'm talking. Well, it's not a waterfall, sorry. That's wrong. I take that all back. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, you know, let me know what you think. How are you doing? You know, ready for your thoughts? <laughs> Just joking. Mm. But yeah, I'm so exhausted. Actually, I went to the dentist today. Mm -hmm. Actually, I got something in the mail. It was like $100 for a cleaning. Checking, cleaning, x-ray, everything, the whole works. So, that's good.
Mm. I mean, you have to start somewhere, right? Get a job, start somewhere. But yeah, I'm really pushing really hard for this pub. I mean, I know it's going to be a lot of work. I've never done it before, but you know, looking forward to it. So I hope everything's going well with my little foodies. I hope you're enjoying my videos. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that I might do a few more of these videos. Maybe during the day. <laughs> Car mukbangs. But yeah. And a lot of vlogs. Because I'm actually thinking about maybe I might go to Vancouver tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. So take care of yourselves and have a great day. Or evening. Okay. Looking forward to see you in my next video. Alright. Have a great day. Alright.